everybody and welcome to Meister Tarot again today. Crazy weather one day it's uh, stinging hot and muggy and the next day we've got hor horizontal winds and uh, and uh, horizontal rain and winds off the ice caps. So <laughs> welcome again to a call to a um, to spring in spring in Australia. Country of extremes. Okay, so I'll just stick that leg out on my table to try and stop it wobbling so much. I'm on my card table in the window trying to get the best um, location to so that you can see these cards easily. Uh, what I want to read about today is the Solomon Islands. Um, what's happened? Um, the rest of the world may not be aware Australia is, um, and I'm sure other countries are as well, such as New Zealand, uh, Papua New Guinea, etc. The Solomon Islands are an um, archipelago of islands located to the northeast of um, Australia, off the eastern um, tip of uh, Papua New Guinea, and between Papua New Guinea and, the, um, and Vanuatu. So what's been happening in the Solomon Islands is that um, uh, the Solomon Islands have traditionally uh, been backers of uh, Taiwan as being an independent state. But recently what's happened is the democratically elected government has decided to change their allegiance to China to um, back China's claim over Taiwan. So what's happened is that there have been violent protests break out um, as um, uh, sectors of the um, community, uh, sectors of the of the um, island states, um, provinces, etc., uh, have felt betrayed by their government. Um, they still back Taiwan and. Um, I believe the change to the allegiance to China was due to the government receiving funding, possibly due to the Belt and Road. There is not a lot of information coming out for the general public. And I don't like to read terribly much because I don't want um, uh, the media perception to influence what the cards tell me. So what's happened is Australia have sent um, just under 30 federal police to... Uh, back the local um, police force um, and we are sending around 90 Australian defence personnel to the area again to try and quell the violence um, and again back the local um, the government the local government um, uh, systems so and and an attempt to reach a dictator diplomatic solution. So staying, staying completely out of the, of the China-Taiwan side of things, Australia is just backing the democratically elected government to try and uh, restore peace so that discussions can then ensue and uh, diplomatic um, uh, course can be followed. So I just want to have a quick couple of looks. I'll do a um, signifier and three clarifiers, then I'll do an abbreviated uh, Celtic cross just to see how um, this particular situation is going to unfold for those in the Solomon Islands. Now I'm using my uh, Gilded Tarot Royale again because it's my sort of in-between pack. Um, it's not a, a purely political reading, so therefore I'm using my not political cards, but also they're not my family and friends cards either. So please tell me about what's going on in the Solomon Islands. Please tell me about what's going on in the Solomon Islands. They are fairly down uh, from... China's influence in the Chinese, um, the sea, uh, Chinese Ocean, as I said, part of the Belt and Road policy, I believe. Um, I 
the problem with the Belt and Road is they often, what's been happening is China has been lending to vulnerable countries and then establishing in exchange a military presence in some of them, not all of them. And that is the concern at the moment. So because the Solomon Islands being in their location are near major shipping channels from um, the subcontinent through to Australia, uh, the United States, etc. The, the other way, the other, so it comes down through from Europe, the subcontinent and Africa through um, the Papua, Indonesia, Solomon Archipelos. The alternative route is to either go through the Suez Canal or down around the African um, Cape. So it is a major shipping, world shipping area. So obviously there are concerns about um, the Solomon Islands retaining their independence and uh, military bases being set up in the area. But tell me about what's going on in the Solomon Islands at this time. Tell me about what's going on. Oh gosh, I'm getting awfully prickly arms for some reason. Tell me about what's going on in the Solomon Islands at this time. Knight of Swords, so a harsh truth is being revealed. Um, with a um, bringing on of inner strength and uh, this is just showing showing of strength taking control harsh truth taking control moving forward rapidly in regards to the government okay so the government has been faced with a harsh truth but it will rapidly prevail with the unrest okay so that's so that's that's good it will, will it will quell the unrest because we don't want to see destruction and lives lost on either side. Will the Solomon Islands just trying to think what the next question, how to word the next question? Tell me about the Solomon Islands in China. Tell me about the Solomon Islands government and China. Tell me about the Solomon Islands government and China. Tell me about the Solomon Islands government and China. Its relations with China. The Solomon Islands government relationship with China. Tell me about the Solomon Islands government and its relationship with China. Okay, signifier is uh, reaping what has been sown, uh, moving forward rapidly. Oh, strength again. Gosh, I shuffled these and split these, and um, but it's all about taking control of the government. Again. Shuffled these endlessly. Did the Vegas shuffle, did the split, did the shuffle, but I've still gotten those three cards. So I'm wondering if it is, yeah, reaping what they've what they've sown. So China and base of the pack. So this was not on the top of the pack, this was the base of the pack. You've got your harsh truth again. Being fully illuminated. So China is is backing the Solomon the Solomon government, or well, the Solomon government's backing China. Okay, and the reaping what you sow is a monetary card. I'll just do a 
a large Celtic, uh, not a large, a um, partial Celtic cross. Tell me about the future of the Solomons. Tell me about the future of the Solomons. Puts Australia in a difficult decision because we want countries to retain their independence. We don't want them to become military outposts for those that um, might have ideals that um, are not cohesive with our own, but it is not our position to interfere in the choices, the sovereign choices of other countries. Just giving a really, really good shuffle here. Really, really, really good shuffle. An extended Celtic cross on the outcome for the Solomon Islands. And when I do my splits, I do a six six way deck split, not a three way, to reset the deck. So tell me about partial Celtic cross. Tell me about the outcome for the Solomon Islands. Tell me about the outcome for the Solomon Islands. Just bring this down. Oh, <laughs> okay, again, reaping what they sow in regards to money crossed by the Eight of Wands. There is a lot of emotion overwhelming in regards to this. The Five of Cups at the base of the pack. So it's about um, what is being lost. And that's what what the, the, um, the fighting is about. In the past, you've got the Page of Swords and he's bringing a, um, he's uncovering a truth He's seeking a truth. He's been. He's bringing a message of what is what is actually happening. The truth, Queen of Swords. So another sword, another truth card. Uh, she is bringing a um, perspective of the truth and strength. If you notice all the doves, peace as well. So that's a that's a positive. So we've got the five doves there. So she's going to wield the sword of truth uh, and bring peace. Thank goodness. Again, the chariot. Goodness. It will happen fairly quickly. It may appear chaotic at the, at the, to, as we... I'm going to continue this. I'll do a full, a full cross. Um... So the near future is it's going to be rather chaotic and out of control in the start, and it, but it is moving forward. Again, the strength card. Um, so this is about taking control, the government taking control, the five of swords, right? They've got to be careful they don't self-sabotage their own. Um, this is the hopes and fears. Self-sabotage and betray their own people. This is the fear. This is they're going to lose. This is the fear of those that are fighting the government that they are losing their sovereignty to the power of um, China. That's their fear. The outcome is they will have choices to be made. Queen of Cups. So she has a um, revelation to bring forward. She is also emotional stability, though, so I think the situation is going to stabilise. And again, we've got the Seven of Swords. And again, the harsh truth coming forward. Base of the pack, walking away from what's not serving them, but also walking towards what does. The infighting. And bringing forward an important message that needs to be heard. Ideas being brought forward. So that's what's going on in the Solomons at the moment. Um, those that are battling the government are fearful that they will lose their sovereignty. Um, you know, this, this loss... 
walking away. It's not clear on the actual outcome because we've got these cards here. But there's, there's some deception going on. There's deception going on. So Australia is there purely to support the government troops because they were a demo democratically elected government. Um, but it'll be one to watch, and I'll read on it again in a couple of weeks to see how the situation's going. But yes, um, that's what the that's what the fighting is about: is uh, the fear of becoming uh, losing their independence and becoming a subject of China. Okay, thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you later. <sighs> Love and prayers to the world. Um, Images of peace and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.